Hey everyone, this is Mega Man, the tech manager for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and I'm going to be going over the lightweight installer for you guys. What this installer will be able to do is download the game from scratch if you don't have it downloaded already, but also update the game to the latest version if you have a prior version of it directly from the game files itself using the same exact script. Now, if you're not part of the Discord, I definitely recommend you do because it'll have the most up-to-date information, but I'm also going to provide all this information in the description down below um, in case you don't want to join the Discord, which is understandable as well. But if you're on the Discord, go ahead and go to the Downloads channel and you'll see the zip here. Go ahead and click on it and hit Continue to Download, and it'll download the zip for you. Also in the Discord, if you scroll down, you'll see this message here from myself, and it'll have a written guide as well in case you want to just go through the written guide without having to go through the video. Um, some people provide it to be faster for some reason, uh, but this no worries. Anyway, it'll also have the link for the game and the download, and this is what I'm going to put in the description for you to use to be able to download the game if you're not on Discord. Um, this will be a Mediafire download. It'll take you to Mediafire. Go ahead and click download, and it's going to download the game for you as well. Now, anytime you download anything from the internet, it's going to go into your file explorer. So go down here to file explorer and go to your downloads folder here on the left side. I downloaded two on accident, so I'm just going to delete one. You don't have to repeat this but you'll see infinitefusion.zip. If you do not see the .zip, it's because your computer has this option disabled. So what you have to do is, let me disable it first. So right here, it'll say infinitefusion versus infinitefusion.zip. Now, if you go to your file explorer and hit view, then go to show, then hit file name extensions, it'll show the .zip portion that I'm talking about. So the next step is you need to right click this, just right click it, don't left click, don't double click, right click it, and hit extract all. You do not need to use WinRAR or 7-zip, this is a very small zip. And then from there, hit extract. From there, you'll get this file folder named Infinite Fusion. At this point, you do not need the zip anymore. So if you see the zip here, press delete on your keyboard and delete it. You do not need it anymore. So now with the Infinite Fusion folder, what you want to do is you want to double click it and you'll see these two items. Double click on installer update.bat. And this is the script that will actually do the updating or the installation for the game. If you get a Windows pop-up saying it's suspicious or asking you, you know, what do you want to do with it, click more info and then click run anyway. This script is something that we created ourselves. It's not like a verified app, so that's why Windows is suspicious about it. Now, what you want to do is you want to pay attention to this uh, command prompt that opened. And I note this down in the manual guide that I showed you earlier. If you scroll down, this red underlined text is exactly what we want to see from that command prompt. So if we look at the command prompt, the fourth line towards the bottom is going to say this. Head is now at something. If you see this, that means that everything installed or updated correctly and you don't have to worry about anything. If you do not see this, that means an error happened. And we've noted the most common error here is that it disconnected because of some internet thing. So go ahead and rerun installer update if you see unexpected disconnect here in this command prompt. But if you don't see that, that means that everything ran smoothly. So if you go back to File Explorer, you'll see all of the files here. And that's exactly what we want to see. To open up the game, it is game.exe that you want to double click. But if you want a shortcut or pin this to have an easy access way to open up the game, what you have to do is right click, go to show more options. And then from here, you can either create a shortcut, which you can then drag that to your desktop or pin a taskbar, which I have it here pinned to my taskbar. So it's very easy for me to find the game. So now if you click on it, it'll open up the game and it'll open up the latest version of the game for you to play. So once you see this intro, go ahead and hit enter and you'll get the intro screen, which will show you the latest version of it on the top right here. And that's pretty much it. If you do wanna know where your save files are, back in your game folder, there is a shortcut here named save file. Just to be clear, this does not mean that your saves are stored in your game folder. You can delete your game folder and still have your saves. This is a shortcut that if you double click, will take you to a different part of your computer where your saves are stored. So this is where your save files are and this is where you can import saves if you have one for Mac or, or Android or something that you want to put on your PC. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.